Hi, in this video we will go over one of the exercises from the uh, exam review questions and on this exercise we have the following production system to solve the uh, 3 by 3 nights problem and these are the conditions that it says, for example, I mean the, the rules and the first condition for rule number one, for example, it says if the nine is on square one, then we're gonna move the nine to square eight. So I'm just gonna talk about the numbers. So in my case, it says, if I see that the current state, the current state of the game is in which of the squares it is that I'm located. So for example, for uh, uh, if I'm on square one, then my options is either go to eight or six. Now, when I have multiple uh, rules that are being matched, we execute the first one that we match, and that's the approach that we follow in Prolog. Like for example, if we have these rules, we go from top to bottom, and the first one that we match. Okay, so in this game is, I mean, in this game, sorry, in this exercise, it says that we want to show all the iterations to solve the problem. And we're assuming that the working memory initially indicates that the current square is 1 and the goal is to be in square 2. So we want to list the contents of whatever is the current state, so that's what we want to maintain in the working memory, what is the conflict set, and which is the file, the, the, the rule that we will fire. Okay, then to show the iterations, again, we just have the information that we need and in this case, the information is we're going to, this is the goal, and initially we are in the square one, and that's what I'm going to be keeping in my working memory, what is it that I am in working in, uh, in the square one. Now, if I'm on the square one, being on the square one matches these two rules. So you see there is nothing else that says anything about one, so these are the first two, so this is rule one and rule two. So my conflict set then contains rule one and rule two. Now, which one is the one from this one that we're gonna execute? The first one that we find, which is one, and we're doing one. So now by doing one, now we're moving this square, uh, moving the nine to square eight. So now in this iteration, the current state or the square is now being on 8 and if I'm on 8 now my what is it that matches for the conflict set so on 8 is here let's see, on 8 is here 13 and 14 that's my 8 so now the conflict set has 13 and 14 which one is the one that is first to be executed? So we're executing 13. We were doing like a prolog, uh, implementing this in prolog. Then on the next iteration, when we do 13, on 13, uh, now we're going to square three. So in my working memory, I said, okay, my current state is three. And then again, I do the same, three matches five and six, so I got five and six. Which one is the first? That's five, then I go with five, three, now I'm on four. So in my third iteration, what on four. Now we stop when, uh, when we reach the goal, right? So the goal is two, and I still I'm not in, uh, I don't have two, and I'm not in the, so the, the game continues. So then for four, matches seven and eight. So for that seven and eight, then I select seven. And uh, when we execute seven, I got then, uh, One, eight, three, four, so seven. We're executing rule seven and four, so now we got a nine. So here I got a nine. And then for nine, 
It matches the last two. It's a nine and a nine. So I got 15 and 16. And then the first one that we find is 15. So for 15, now we get a two. So on my fifth iteration, I get the two. And that's the goal. Then I just basically help. And that solves the problem and that shows all the iterations that we needed.